What's up guys, Shane AK Musty Yeti here. Today's video is going to be part three in the series where we approve upon the CZ Scorpion pistol. Uh, in the first video we went ahead and installed the KAK Shockwave blade kit. In the second video we got rid of that horrible Ambi safety selector that comes from the factory and replaced it with the Gearhead Works Ambi safety selector. Uh, excellent improvement. Uh, today we're going to be uh, replacing that obnoxious pistol grip that comes from the factory and we're going to be installing it with what I believe is the only company making pistol grips for the CZ Scorpion, the Yeti Works Matterhorn. So stay tuned to hear a little bit more about it and see how easy it is to install. All right guys, before we get to installing the Yeti Works pistol grip, I want to talk about the options you have here when you're shopping for their pistol grips. They do offer two, they have an Everest model which has a little bit more of a curve back here and the Matterhorn which is the one you see here. They're both $60, I'm not sure at this current time if they're in stock. Like I said before, this is the part that I purchased before I even owned the Scorpion because I wasn't sure how available this would be. Uh, these are made of some sort of high quality, high strength plastic. Um, I will say it does feel kind of prototype-ish. It has almost like a, a 3D printed feeling to it. It doesn't feel exactly like the standard factory uh, pistol grip, but I'm sure its strength will be just fine. I don't think it'll have any issues. I haven't heard of anybody having one break or crack. But yeah, that's about it for the grip, guys. Let's go ahead and get into the install. All right, guys, just like every other part we've installed so far in the CZ Scorpion, this should be just as easy. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and simply take our Allen wrench here. We're gonna loosen up the screw that holds the grip into place here. I'll go ahead and fast forward through all this so you guys don't have to see this. Oh, I guess I should mention, guys, that uh, I've already safety checked this thing. There's no rounds in the chamber. There, there's no magazine. We're all safe to go. I know some of you guys are safety Nazis, so we're all safe. Don't worry about that. And the screw looks like it's loose. Set that off to the side. Um, I hope this is gonna be easy to slide off. It might not be. I'm just gonna take my little rubber mallet here. Hopefully that will work. Give me one second, guys. Wow, guys, that sucker was on there. Okay, so I'm just gonna slide this up here real quick and show you guys just the difference in angles. Um, let me get this way out of the way. Okay, so these I think are pretty well lined up. Let me take a look. All right, guys, as you can see, the grip angle of the Yeti Works Matterhorn is much better than what's on the factory uh, CZ Scorpion grip. Not only that, it just looks better. I really don't like the appearance, the look of this with this flared uh, pistol grip down here. This is just nice, smooth, and it should lend itself well to the overall look of the Scorpion. So let's go ahead and get this thing installed. I'm just gonna bring this thing back in the frame here. I'm gonna slide this on, hopefully it's, oh, that easy. I'm gonna take our screw, gonna put it back on here. Push it through, tighten this back down, and that's gonna be pretty much all she wrote. All right guys, that about wraps up the install of the Yeti Works CZ Scorpion Evo 3 Matterhorn Grip. Uh, just like everything else in the CZ Scorpion, this was super easy to install. Five minutes tops with the proper tools. One screw, take it off, put it back on, tighten it, and you're good to go. Um, as you guys can see, this grip really does finish off this overall Scorpion's look. It looks really nice. It's gonna function even better and make for a better, smoother shooting gun. Now guys, I should mention, if you do have the factory Ambi safety, I have heard that the Matterhorn grip uh, helps with moving your hand in such a way where it doesn't dig into your finger as much. So if you guys are strapped for cash and you want to give this a go first before you spend money on this, uh, give it a shot and see how it works. If not, remember you can always dremel off uh, the factory Ambi safety. Well guys, again, that wraps it up. If you have any other parts that you'd like to see me install on this, uh, leave them in the comment box below. I'll take a look at them and uh, see if I do a video on it. Um, as usual guys, take care, stay safe, and we'll see you next time.